Uh, okay, so we should be uh, right now in the basement of uh, Winterhold, the the uh, Frost Frost Fire Inn, the Frost Hearth Inn, the Frosty the Frosty Inn. I believe that's where we are. That was the last thing that we did. We were doing the stuff with um, Kalila, Karila, Karen. I, I can't remember her name. Anyway, the one that's part, the Nightingale one. The one that's part of the, um, Nightingale? Carlia. That's right. I'm on my way back to the Ragged Flagon to meet up with Carlia. Using the information obtained from Gallus's journal as proof, I hope to convince Brynjolf of Carlia's innocence and Mercer Frey's betrayal. He, he tried to kill us, but luckily we were shot with an arrow um, that, um, that curdled up our blood and made it so that we couldn't bleed out. So actually, him stabbing us didn't do shit. We didn't bleed out or, or die. So now we can go back. We can scare the hell out of Mercer, who thinks that we're dead. We can tell Brynjolf about the betrayal. They said it's not and hopefully this is our big power play into becoming the big new head honcho of, um, whatchamacallit, the Thieves Guild. And we'll hopefully get that room. And then we have to figure out where we can get all of the rest of the trophies so that we can pimp out the Thieves Guild. Because I think that that would be kind of cool. How are we doing um, in terms of uh, drop frames? None? Are we looking smooth again? Are the settings good? When I move around outside, are we looking blocky and stuff? Or are we all good? How's it looking, guys? Good? Why are the kids such shit talkers in Skyrim? I have no idea. Smooth! As a baby's bottom. Okay, good to hear, boys. Good to hear. Nice. Alright. Let us make our way, then over here and finish off this quest because it's gonna be it's gonna be a real humdinger I think I think we're gonna have to fight Mercer Frey possibly in the Thieves Guild or he'll use like a smoke bomb and escape and then we're gonna have to track him down like a dog all across Skyrim which you know what I'm up for as well as long as we can just sort of get him out we can get him out of here and then Oh. Did he steal our key? Don't get too far ahead. Oh crap. I think he might have stolen our key or banished us from the guild. We're gonna have to go this way instead. Uh, I wonder if this means that we're gonna have to do like kill a whole bunch of monsters and maybe the entire thieves guild is against me now. Damn. Damn. Okay, fine. Let's do it. What have you heard about these Let's arm ourselves, Eric. I heard a that we have to go story. through the rat way again, I think. Eric, I'm not happy with you using this thing, okay? It just feels right somehow. No problem. How can I help? Give me back this gigantic sword that you seem to... Shift equip mode. Okay, I want you to use this elven sword instead. And I would also like you to use um, this big shield again as well. I donated in like November that I was going on a subway diet and now I am 50 pounds down. Nice. Still a big boy, but wow. we'll keep you updated. 50 yes. pounds down. There is a follower mod called Sophia that is fully voice acted. You should try it. Is, is she naked though? Big boy, thanks so much for the donation. I appreciate it. Hey, Fuck, I Dad. accidentally. Here's a joke to start you off. I accidentally got a bandit pregnant. I never should have come here. Say hi to Archie <laughs> for me. <laughs> uh, thanks, Sand Dogman. Thanks for the donation. I'll say hi to Uthgard for you when we go back home. Okay, I need to put the shield back on him as well because I accidentally equipped it all. I did not want to do that. Okay. Now I need to take... Problem? How can I help? I need to take the this big sword that you seem to love using for some reason. Which one is he actually using? He's using this Reverend Elven Great Sword, which I don't want him to use. So we're going to have to take this. Okay. That's better. 
Eric the Slayer. Nice. Lead on. Okay. Will do. We want him to use his cool paladin armor, okay? That's what, we set him up to be a cool paladin, and that's what we're doing. We're gonna we're gonna leave him like that as well. Search draft. Uh oh. I think Mercer has killed everybody. It looks like possibly Mercer has killed everybody in the Thieves Guild. This is why we have to go this way. We have to see this in action. What does this thing do again? Oh. <laughs> at first I thought I'd miss one. I, I guess I've had my fill of it because I don't miss it at all. Of course. Of course. Okay. At least one guy is dead. We'll take this drum just in case we want to sell it. The Ragged Flagon. Carlia? Please tell me what's going on here. <gasps> oh. I'm glad you're here. I think some of these people are beginning to suspect who I am. Well, yeah, they probably know are who you, you are. Are you ready to face the guild? Then we show them Gallus' journal and hope for the best. Remember, we have proof and all he's got is his word. That's true. I'm ready. Let's go. Keep your eyes open. I'm not sure what to expect when we enter the system. Okay. Oh my god, look at all of these arrows that she's got elven arrows. Look at these, she's got 58 elven arrows. We have a 4% chance of stealing from her. I wonder if she'll let us have some of those arrows. Oh look, it looks like business as usual down here. It's just business as usual here. If you're looking for extra work, I give special rates to members of the Thieves Guild. Show me what you've got. Well, it just so happens, actually, that I have um, a whole bunch of crap that I can sell to you. Like this empty wine bottle, for instance. Um, I got a goblet here for you as well. What else do I have? I have a whole bunch of rolls of paper. Actually, I have quite a few stolen goods on me right now that I have to be a little bit careful of. Um, what is this? The Nightingale Blade. We want to hang on to that for sure. Uh, Reverend Elven Greatsword, though, we can sell for 439 bucks. The Staff of Zombies we can sell for 204 bucks. A Staff of Calm here that's worth 525 bucks. There's a Steel Sword of Burning. Um, I think that we want this, um, this enchant. Or do we have it already? Burns the target for 10 points. Targets of fire take extra damage. I think we might have that already, but let's just double check when we get back. Dwarven Bow of Cowardice. We could sell this as well. We don't need this one anymore. We don't want to disenchant this either. Okay, perfect. So we've got our Dwarven Bow, which can fill gems. And then we've got our Elven Bow, which uh, is pretty nice uh, just to do general damage, right? And then we have this Nightingale Blade, which we might start using instead of the Mace of Molag Bal. Maybe the, the Mace of Molag Bal is something that we can, um, we can put on a, on, a, on a weapon rack at home or something. That would be good. And then there's got, we got this Spider Control Rod as well, which... I don't know. Okay. Good. Now, if you'll excuse me. Sure. No problem, my fence. Alright, are you ready? Are you ready to move out? Because I am. Mr. Pinchy's ready. Easy E is ready as well. He's got his uh, he's got his gang his gang equipment on. <laughs> he's like a gangster paladin, which I know is not it, it's not like a traditional combo, but still I think it's a pretty good one. Okay, let's let her go in first because she's got a whole bunch of arrows. She's got a whole bunch of really good arrows, so we'll let her go in first, kill everybody, and now just give it like couple seconds you can just imagine now all the arrows are flying around everybody's dying people are getting arrows like in their throats and stuff like that she's probably doing like all sorts of crazy like smoke bombs and backstabs okay everyone has to be dead by now good you better have a damn good reason to be here with that murderer what murderer please Lower your weapon so we can speak. I have proof that you've all been misled. <gasps> no tricks, Carlia, or I'll cut you down where you stand. Now what's this so-called proof? Let her through, Mr. Pinchy. Let the lady through. Even I though she is an elf. Journal. I think you'll find its contents disturbing. 
Let me see. No, it can't be. <laughs> wow, you read fast. I've known Mercer too long. It is true, Brignol. Every word. Mercer's been stealing from the guild for years. Right under your nose. That's right. There's only one way to find out if what the last says is true. Delvin, I'll need you to open the vault. Like just a blessed month of spring. Oh my god. This is gonna be great. I bet you it's fucking empty. Mercer's been stealing from our vault for years. Gallus was looking into it before he was murdered. Don't worry, guys. I got your back. Mercer's probably gonna turn up. Maybe he's gonna come down there, actually. Best puzzle locks money can buy. There's no way it can be picked up. You didn't need to pick them up. What shield is there? Use your key on the vault, Delvin. We'll open it up and find out the truth. Oh, man. There's a big vault back here. Filled with riches. I bet you he's in there. But the vault's still locked up tighter than a drum. Now use yours. Watch us go in there and he's just sitting in there all Hugh Hefner style. In like a... In like a he's got like a kimono on. <laughs> he's smoking a pipe. Ah! It's gone. Everything's gone. Get in here, all of you. Oh my god. Okay, don't everybody don't get in. This is gonna try to lock us in the vault. Eric, this is the oldest trick in the book. The gold. It's yours. Stay out it's there. Good. Alright, good. Now what? He stole everything. Look, all he left you with was just a whole bunch of not Such enchanted bitch. crap. I'll kill him. Bex, put it away. Right now. We can't afford to lose our heads. We need to calm down and focus. Let's pretend nothing happened. Nobody says Lull him into a false sense of security. Fine. We do it your way. For now. Delvin, Vex, watch the flagon. If you see Mercer, come tell me right away. Pull up a seat. Look, before I help you track Mercer down, I need to know what you learned from Carlia. I mean, everything. Man, I like Brynjolf. Uh, this game, this this game is 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 well done in the sense that people that you're meant to like, you do like. Like they they they're just like nice to you, and 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 their voice acting is like really really good and stuff. And then people that you're you're meant to not like, like Mercer. Like you could just sense that he was like such a toolbox from the beginning, right? Mercer killed Gallus. Not Carlia. Gallus, Carlia, and Mercer were nightingales. Carlia was behind Golden Glow and Hunting Brew. What? Nightingales? But I always assumed they were just a tail. A way to keep the young footpaths in line. That's right. Was there anything else she told you? Oh, yeah. She told me that she was behind Golden Glow and Hunting Brew. Trying to make Mercer look bad in front of Maven, eh? Clever lass. Clever lass. Was there anything else? Mercer killed Gallus, not Carlia. I, I feared that was the case. From that last entry in Gallus's diary, it looks like he was getting close to exposing Mercer to the guild. Anything else? Oh, that's it. Then I have an important task for you. What is it? I need you to break into Mercer's home and search for anything that could tell us where he's gone. All right. He has a house? Aye. A gift from the Black Briars after they kicked the previous family out. A place called Rift Wheeled Manor. He never stays there, just pays for the upkeep on it. Hired some lout by the name of Bold to guard the place. Nice. I'll take care of it. That's gonna be our new be home in Riften. Not. This is the last place in Skyrim I'd ever want to send you. Just find a way in, get the information, and leave. And you have permission to kill anyone that stands in your way. Oh, nice. Okay, what's actually missing from this vault? Better question would be what did he leave? Mercer took everything. Even all of our plans are gone. Damn, not the plans. Before Mercer took over, Gallus started collecting every bit of material he could on locations the guild could heist. Museums, keeps, estates, you name it. God damn. By the time Mercer took over the guild, we must have had a few dozen. How could he have opened the vault door alone? I don't have a clue. That door is impenetrable. It doesn't look impenetrable. Without two keys, it's impossible to open. I have a key, Delvin has a key, and Mercer has a key. That's it. There are no other copies. Alright. What's the best way to get into Riftwield Manor? Good question. 
I've only set foot inside a few times myself, and that was in Mercer's company. If you can get past his trained watchdog, I think your best bet might be the ramp to the second floor balcony in his backyard. Okay. I don't suppose the ramp is easy to access? No. It's some sort of crazy contraption Mercer commissioned for quick escapes. Nice. I'd wager a well-placed shot at the ramp's mechanism would lower it in a hurry. Okay. Nice. You mentioned a watchdog? That'd be bald. A real piece of work, that one. All right. Mercer's holding something over his head, keeping him loyal. Do you think he's like Talk Grand Soul Gem material? She used to know him very well, if you catch my meaning. Okay. Will do. Careful at Mercer's place. All right, I will lose be. Anyone else in that I battle. will be. Look, they're going to make old Hogan's face out of this bust. I just know it. When, once I become the guild master, look out, everybody. Okay, let's go speak to Vex about um, this, this bald guy. See what's up. Maybe she's got, maybe she has like some info like, Vault doesn't have any balls. Where, where a man's balls normally would be, Vault has them on his knee. Just you have to it, shoot mate. him in the knee. She's like a dog rubber all over again. Where the hell is Vex? Oh, she's sleeping. This is no time for sleeping, Vex. What the hell? If I see Frey, I'll pluck his eyes from his skull with my bare hands. Okay, look. That pig? Oh, I have info on him. More than you care to know. Vald? Good side? I think you have the wrong person. The only thing Vald understands is gold. A man after my own heart. So buy him off? Sure, but he'll ask for a whole lot. I mean, you are asking him to betray Mercer Frey. Your best bet would be to erase his debt with Maven Blackbriar. If you talk to her, she might be able to give you the details. Of course, you could just run him through and take what you need off his corpse. I could care less. I'm tempted. I am tempted. Okay. While you're in there, help yourself to anything in Frey's manner. Oh. I you didn't even, even need to say it, us, Vex. I will definitely be helping myself to anything I find in Mercer's Manor. I bet you he's got all sorts of fucking awesome shit. He's probably got, like, the latest and greatest shaving contraption. Probably I has a Mercer bunch of dildos. You name it. This guy's got everything. I dare Mercer to come back here. He sets one foot in a cistern and I'll cut it off. I dare Mercer to come back here. He sets one foot in a cistern and I'll cut it off. Alright. Let's try to do this. Let's try to do this the the subtle way. Let's let's try to get Maven Blackbriar on side here as well. That could be kinda cool. She's she's one of our like greatest allies, right? Maven. Maven Blackbriar. I think she's like up here. Oh, this no, this is act this is this actual manor, okay. That's the ramp. Where the hell is Maven? Speak to Vex about Vold. We've done that. Shoot the mechanism. So Maven, uh, Maven's usually up here, isn't she? She's usually like on the second floor of the Bee and Barb. Let's see if we can erase this guy's debt. You've come to the right place. Pull up a seat. No thanks. Oh my God, where where are the stairs? Where are the stairs? Oh my God, they're just there. <laughs> I'm lost. I'm so lost. Hey, where the hell is she? She's usually like right here, right? We might have to break in. Maven? Oh my god. It's all empty in here. Where the hell is she? Go on then. Oh, Get not you again. Not you again. I don't want to. She's not here, guys. She's only there during the one quest. Oh. So where is she, where is she normally then? She's uh, normally um, in um, in here, I guess, right? Inside the metery. Okay, let's save before we go in here. We shouldn't really be stealing from this place, but we're going to. 
We need to eliminate our dependence on... Nice. We have leveled up, friends. More stamina. Sounds good. Okay, pickpocket, lock picking, sneak we were working on as well. Archery, we only have 69 in archery, so we can't quite do this yet. Soon, though. Oh! We can do critical shot, though. Okay, nice. Steady hand. No thanks. No thanks. I don't want a steady hand. I don't want to have a steady hand. I'm done with having a steady hand. What are these other options for sneak? Deadly aim, assassin's blade, light foot. You won't trigger pressure plates. Oh, that seems good, actually. We should probably try to take that one eventually. Okay. Good. We leveled up. All right, Maven, where the hell are you? Oh, it's not considered stealing. Hey, look at this. I can actually take all this stuff and it's not stealing. Oh, this is good. Maybe Maven just loves us so much now that we're allowed to just come in here and, and make the place our own. I'm good with that. Does she... Does she actually have, like, a... Does she not live in here, then? Does she live elsewhere? Who's this? Indarin. Mark of Debella. Oh yeah, that's right. We had to steal these things, didn't we? This is one of the guys we had to steal the mark from, remember? But I think that I think the woman's dead now. <laughs> I think Eric killed her. They're all awake now. Azura's wisdom. Hi. Wilhelm was pleased with the delivery. Well done. Nice. A I'm glad. Th oh yeah, that's right. We did that. Um, we we did that thing for him, didn't we? We actually did it. Hey, don't look at me that way. Who are you to judge me? Well, I didn't look at you anyway. I don't think she's in here. She must have like a big manor somewhere. Where's like the biggest house we can find? This one? Oh, it's gotta be this one, right? She's gotta live in this in this big old house. This is probably her house here. This house is huge. Yeah, Blackbriar Manor. Okay, we might have to just like We might have to break in actually. We're gonna break in. Oh, okay. I got this, guys. Don't worry. It's like down here. No. <laughs> oh, shit. Okay, fine. What time is it? Oh no. Regarding your loss. Lady Maven Blackbriar, I've made inquiries into the loss of your mead shipments to Cyrodiil, and I've come to the conclusion that they were waylaid by a group of mercenaries under the employ of the Empire. According to my sources, these mercenaries were not acting under orders and simply attacked the caravan for supplies. I forwarded a request for compensation on your behalf to the Imperial Council, and the mercenaries in question have already been dealt with accordingly. Again, I wish to extend my deepest apologies for this unfortunate mishap, and I assure you that any future shipments into our nation will be met at the border by an Imperial Patrol and personally escorted to their final destination. Regin Limelus. <laughs> nice. Why do, why do we need to know that? Is that of some importance, like later on or something? This place is Can huge. Can a man have a bit of privacy? Get out of here! Wait. It's... Oh, Maven. No, I didn't want to pickpocket you. She's got a personal key here. Nice. What in the name of oblivion do you want? I'd like to erase Vald's debt. Vald? Why would you want to help that idiot? Guard, trespasser. Oh no! He owes me a steep 
debt. Ah, shit. Because he's lucky all I did was force him to work for Mercer. What did he do? A few we gotta wrap this up quick, Maven. A unique quill from a good friend of mine in Winterhold. Vald was tasked with getting it here safely, and it ended up at the bottom of Lake Honrick. The wizards called it the Quill of Gemination and demanded a tremendous amount of gold to have it made. If you can locate the quill and return it to me, something Vald was too stupid to do himself, I'll consider the debt satisfied. All right. You know what? I'll do it. Out of my way. Okay. With pleasure. I think we're about to get busted here anyway. We're going to have to leave. Lickety split. I think the guards are on me already. Okay, let's see. Hang on a second. No doubt about it. Just hold on a second. The pursuit. Where is this one? With friends like these, join this taste of death? No, it's gotta be this one, right? Locate the Quill of Gemination under Lake Honrick. He's killed this Nice. Where is Lake Honrick? Is it this one that's like close to... Is this Lake Honrick? No, it's not. Maybe it's just out here. No, Golden Glow. Where the hell is Lake Honrick? She said it was coming from Winterhold, right? Oh, boys. I think we have to, like... And they've got rifted. I think we have to reopen the map now. Sometimes it just doesn't work. Oh, no, it's like there's, like, a double here. We got, a, like, a double quest here, somehow. Lake Honrick. I don't see it anywhere, guys. Where the hell is a Lake Honrick? Activate the quest. I've done it. I have activated the quest. Look, it's activated. Locate the Quill of Gemination under Lake Conric. It's activated. I don't know where Lake Conric is. What? What's the name of this big lake? I feel like that's Lake Conric. There are other lakes, though. For instance, there's a lake here. Um, this isn't really a lake. This is like more like a swamp. There's this lake here too. <clears throat> what? It doesn't show on the map, but it's it's the lake in Riften. Oh, okay. I see. I see. It's the lake in Riften. It's the Riften Lake. So we have to jump down there and try to find this thing? This is gonna be like a fucking finding a needle in a haystack. Okay, thanks, chat. Thanks, I got it. It is quiet enough now. When the sun goes down, we have to try to find this quill at the bottom of the lake, Honrik. We have to do some deep sea diving. Okay, so far, heading randomly in this direction, and maybe over here a little bit where there's some rocks and stuff. Free barnacles, though. All right, let's have a let's have, let's have a look. Why are we doing all this so that we don't have to kill a guy? Usually, I love killing a guy, but if there's a way around it, we'll try it out, right? Okay. So far, so far, I don't see shit. Watch it be in this really shallow part where like anybody could have found it, though. Catch fishes. It's going to be like finding a quill in a lake. Yeah, that's exactly it. That's exactly what it's gonna be like. It's gotta be in a chest though, right? There's no way that it's just gonna be like on the ground all by itself, a magical quill. Or if it is on its on the ground all by itself, it's gonna be glowing or something. What the hell? <laughs> wow, how is this happening? What are you doing under here? <laughs> Oh shit, the mercenaries. <laughs> the mercenaries at Golden Glow Estate. They shouldn't still be trying to kill me. I think I think that now that their leader is dead, and Carlia, I guess, owns the place. Maybe we need to speak to Carlia and say, listen, Carlia, can you get your goons off of me, please? Maybe it washed up onto here somewhere. Here it is. 
No, that's not it. Here it is. No. It's just some... It, it's just some eggs. Is it gonna... Do you think it's gonna be, like, in the deepest part of the lake? This lake is huge, guys. Like... Whoa! Oh, that's just a salmon. It's just a salmon. That's not the quill we were looking for. Look at all these awesome eggs that we're getting, though. Select the miss- I have done it, guys. How many times do I need to look? I'm- I've done it. It's selected. It is selected. It doesn't show up on the map. Look, it does not show up. Watch this be the wrong lake. You guys are just- you guys are fucking with me, aren't you? This isn't even the right lake. No? It doesn't have a marker on the map. I know, it'd be too easy, right? To just swim right towards it. This isn't World of Warcraft. You have to explore. You can't just be, like, guided with breadcrumb trails to everywhere that you go. Sometimes you just gotta find shit on your own. And that's what we're out here doing. Trying to find a quill. Trying to find a quill in a lake. Does this still count as the lake? Or are we talking, like, more close to, to Riften? You think it's, like, washed up? I feel like a quill... Maybe not so much, actually. There's no tides in a lake, right? So... It wouldn't, it wouldn't necessarily wash up. Like, a lake is just still water, right? So things don't tend to, like, wash up. Except sometimes, I guess, bodies do. Sometimes a body can wash up on the side of a lake. So maybe that means a quill could as well. Look for a sunken rowboat should be close to it. Oh, okay. Thanks so much, Lennon. Thank you. <laughs> Bam. Bam, got him. A sunken robo. Alright, I'll keep a lookout. Keep a lookout for this sunken robo. I feel like it's gonna be closer to Ripton though. I think we've come too far. Ew. How did this guy see me from all the way over there? Now he's hiding behind a tree as well. Why is there a spider over here? Pray tell. Oh! Oh, he's back here. Take that, biatch. What the hell is this place actually? Oh, it's not an island at all. It's just like I bet you there's something up here. Oh, maybe there's a shrine to Mr. T up here. There is a path. It looks like there's a tower or something up here, actually. Let's check it out. Let's check it out and see what's going on. Oh. Is that one of our arrows? I doubt it. Somebody's been over here. Doing stuff. Oh, maybe it's bandits. Maybe it's novice conjurers. They always seem to be, like, in these fucking places, right? Maybe this place is just... Faldar's Tooth. It is bandits. Bandits. How did I miss that? We got company. Ho ho! Wow. A plun whoa shit. We're running out of puff here a little. Saw this umdinger earlier and just had to share. I was visiting the local zoo and they had a baguette in a cage. I asked the keeper about it, and he said it was bred in captivity. <laughs> oh God, Mark! Thanks so much. Thanks so much for the uh, for the donation. I appreciate it. Oh my God! Are you 
so many bandits here. We're gonna need to have a health potion. I didn't realize that this archer fight would be so tough. It's a tough one. Health is increased. Fuck, I, I just wasted all of those. Man, did I ever just waste a whole bunch of max HP potions. Oh shit, they've unleashed the dogs. This, this guy does not die. We've knocked this guy down so many times. Finally, he's dead. Ah! Oh! Yeah. Whoops! Oh my god. Eric, where are you? Eric, where the hell are you? We need you! Where could he be? Oh my goodness! Oh, Vigilance of Stendar! Nice! Oh, who's shooting me now? Look at this! <laughs> oh my god! There's like a fucking million bandits out here! Who are these Stendar guys again? You speak to a vigilant of Stendhal. Cavort with any Daedra, and we will hunt you down. Uh. Yes. Our order was founded after the Oblivion Crisis. Over here! The vigilant will be watching you. Oh, of course, yeah, this guy. There's a bandit chief here. There's a bandit chief here, doesn't quite know what to do. Don't worry, ladies, I'll let you in. Go in and get him. Whoops. The Bards held a sweet roll eating contest. Mikhail finished in second with eight sweet rolls, but Sven ate nine. Thanks, Rarity <laughs> Dog One. Good one. Okay. Alright, get in there, ladies. The path is open. Eric, Eric, what are you doing over here? What are you doing over here? Oh, I see. Holding it down like a clown. Oh my god. This guy's armor. Good job, everybody. Jesus Christ. The chief. We got the chief himself. Why was he only using... Oh, he was using an orcish battle axe of arcing. Nice. He's got steel plate armor here. 46 armor. Oh, man. Good day, friend. No problem. How can I oh. help? Even though you're a glowing paladin right now, I think that... I think actually some of this stuff might look a bit better. And be better. There, now you look Lead a little off. bit... You look like a male Uthgird, but with a scully cap. I like that. It's a good look on you, Eric. It looks more street, you know what I mean. You look a little bit more street now. And that's what we need from you. Alright, we're looking for a busted robo. Maybe it's over this way. He looks a bit more hardcore now, doesn't he? No? Eric was fighting the good fight all along? I disagree. I don't know where he was. I uh, had to use a whole bunch of potions. We're gonna have to craft some potions at some point today, guys. I'm running really low on them. I can't be tussling like that. I can't be going toe to toe. I, I can't be doing a toe to toe <laughs> with um, with all the guys. It's too much. It's gonna be in this deep part, isn't it? It's gonna be down in this really deep part. It's gotta be. Here we go. Here's a robo. Or just a gigantic rock. Shit, we're really close to the dog now, actually. 
All right, let's check this area, and then we know that it's done. And then we can go check another area instead. Okay. It's not going to be that close to the docks, I don't think. All right. Where to now? Let's go, like, over this side. Under the boat. <laughs> what are you doing under here? What are you doing down here? This is no place for a fox. <laughs> it's just... It's just running away. Just running away under the lake. Clever. It's a good good way to escape. You should tell Mercer about that. That guy likes to do quick escapes as well. That guy's all about the quick escapes. <laughs> Who's this? Oh, it's you, Eric! <laughs> the fuck? Oh god. You do it, you you dumb you <laughs> you, you big dummy. Okay, have, have we looked over here? This is all too shallow over here. I don't think we'll find it over here in the shallow part. But wait, we've been over here already, haven't we? And the Lord said unto Henry, Come forth and receive your dead parents. But Henry came in fifth and won a toaster. Nice, good for Henry. Congrats, Henry. Thanks, Lemon, for the donation. Appreciate it. Okay, while we're down here, let's catch some salmon. Man, this quill is impossible to find, guys. Like, I do not know where it is. I've been everywhere, it feels like. It feels like I've been everywhere. I've been all around the lake. We've done this. We've done the- Ah, look, there's a little cubby hole thing here, though. There is a little cubby hole. And we might have missed a couple of spots in between some of these little island things as well, right? We'll have to check. I don't even know why we're doing this, because we could just kill that bald guy. Probably pretty easily, especially with uh, with Eric and Mr. Pinchy on the case. They should be all right to take them down to Chinatown. Blah, blah. What? Just murder Vault. He's annoying anyway. Okay. Well, I like to see for myself firsthand how annoying this man is, though. Maybe it isn't a rowboat. Maybe it just washed up over here on this little Peggy's coat. Why doesn't Ildi have any close friends? Because she prefers to stay in solitude. Ha <laughs> ha Wow, God, that's a terrible one. Thanks, Rowdy Dog. <laughs> Rowdy Dog, well, that's terrible. Does she actually prefer to stay there? Is that is that where she calls her home? Oh my God. There's a crab moving in on me to attack. Quickly, Eric. Defend my honor. <laughs> Defend my honor quickly. Maybe this is the rowboat. Maybe it's underneath this rowboat. Ah, oh, there it is. Got it. Nah, it's just fish eggs again. It's just fish eggs once again. Okay. So are we gonna are we saying that it's probably in this really deep part again? Or do we want to check out this little, like, this little Peggy's Cove over here? Because I think we're close to it now. Yeah, we're really close to the little Peggy's Cove. Maybe it's in, just in that Peggy's Cove. It seems likely that it could be in here, right? If the water's deep enough. Whoa. Hey, Sips. Hey. Chat seems to get really pissy about saying where the quill is. So the quill is right in front of Rifton. Swim a bit out of the big ship that is docked there, and oh. it's next to a sunken rowboat. No problem, chat. I got your back. <laughs> chat hates me. Thanks so much for the um, for the donation. Um, what did you say? It's right near Rifton, and you just have to go out and there's a sunken Why rowboat. Why does Doctor Pepper come in a bottle? I've done that because he's a lonely guy. Oh, that's sad. Poor Doctor Pepper. That's one thing I've never done before. Is <laughs> God, I've never come in a bottle before. Maybe I should try it sometime. Okay, just outside of Rifton. In a sunken rowboat. Wait, we checked over here already though, right? This is just outside of Rifton. That fucking deer was going... <laughs> it's going fucking crazy. It's just going nuts. Okay, I don't see a sunken rowboat anywhere down here. Maybe over on this other side. Let's get a little puff puff. 
Oh, uh, maybe it's like down in here somewhere? Nope. I don't see a sunken rowboat down here. Either. The one on this side? What's the difference between a snowman and a snow woman? Snowballs. Snowballs. Okay, I don't see a sunken rowboat here either. I've gone just outside of rifting, guys, and I don't see any of this stuff that you guys claim is out here. Do you think the rowboat washed to shore? Is that what we're, what we're saying? Oh, shit. Here we go. Check it out. <laughs> Get him go. Oh, my God. He's, he's gone. Okay, I've looked everywhere just outside of rifting, guys. I don't... Oh my god. Oh my lord. I was... Aha! I was moving at the time. I don't see... I've gone in circles like 20 times. Guys, I've gone in circles like 20 times. Between the ships. I've checked there. I've checked between the ships like a fucking million times. God. Here it is. That's not a rowboat. Watch. Oh, wait. Is it this rowboat? There is a huge boat docked in front of Riften. Swim yeah. a bit out from that and find your shitty quill. Right. You mean so this way? Swim a bit out from the big, the big boat. I've checked down here before, though. I've been all around here. Ah, oh, here it is. This has got to be it. Okay, I got it. Found it, guys. Finally. Man, how did I miss that, though? I was around here like 20 fucking times. Ooh. Okay, we got the Quill of Germination. Thanks. Thanks, chat. Thanks, chat hates me. Thanks, Danny9888888. Thanks so much. How to taco. Thanks. Thanks very much as well. All right. No problem, boys. We've done it. We've done it. Now let's get back into Riften. Let's deliver this quill. Let's, let's get it back to the owner. Maybe she'll actually be nice to me now that I've done a couple of things for her. Maven Blackbriar. Oh, they're reforming at dawn. Such a frigid bitch. Oh yeah, here's seed. That's the Working one. The rift in fishery is tough. I did put some coin in. That's the one. Okay, so I think Maven is back. It just hangs out at the Bee and Barb all day, basically. I think Maven hangs out here. You've come to the right place. See, I was right. I presume you're bothering me for a good reason. I noticed that you're just eating one gigantic cabbage for your lunch. What in the name it's of oblivion healthy. do you want? Um, I found the quill. Really? I wrote that off a long time ago. Well, I found it. Well, I suppose I need to fulfill my end of the bargain. Okay. Give this document to Vol. It frees him from the debt, but I never want to see him in Riften again. Kalen. That sounds Another great. <laughs> That's think incredible. I think you've had plenty, Volwolf. Maybe you should head on home. I don't have time for you idle chit chat. Stupid lizard! What is it? I said, give me some more drink, <laughs> or I'll have your head on a bike. Suit yourself. <laughs> you want to come and hey, live with me? Hey, My Lord, uni classes like have been cancelled since Wednesday because of the beast from the yeast well, infection. So I have plenty of time to watch your lovely streams. Nice. Have a good day, less than I'm three. Hey, Beastlayer99, thanks. Thanks so much. All right, we got we got the thing for Vol. I want that guy to move into my house and just call the lizard stupid all day long. Hey, hey, Trippa. Hey, Trippa. Hey, hey. You got a bit of snoo on your shoulder there, Drippa. Huh? What? What? Yeah, my you husband got, Bearsy. You got a bit of snoo on your on your shoulder. He spends too much time what? worrying about Rifton and not snoo? enough about himself. Not much. How about you? I found one fire salt for you. Just one. Just the one so far. Where is this guy's? Oh yeah, it's in here again. Okay, let's go up the rampway. Let's go up the. Let's do the ramp because that sounds fun. Honeyside. I don't need that. We're gonna be getting this place soon. 
Look at this place comes fully equipped with such luxuries as mountain flower. Okay, where's the ramp out back? The mechanism on the ramp. Oh. What? Who's that? Is that Vault? Duh! Hey! No! Wait! What are you doing, Vault? You can get out of here! I think we're just fighting him. <laughs> Okay, Eric. No! Don't do it! For fuck's sakes. Well, <laughs> all that, all that just, just to kill him. <laughs> oh, fuck, Eric. Come on now. We got, we got, we did the thing and everything. Shit. Okay. Good, we're in. <laughs> Sake. Why did he attack? I don't know. I don't know. We could have paid him off. Okay, so far. Alright, guys, get ready. What was this? What was this? Whew. All right. Whoa! <laughs> Don't worry, the cat's dead. Do your work. <laughs> Do your work. All right. He had an orcish mace on him. So it looks like Mercer Frey. Oh, hold on a second. Mercer Frey had a whole bunch of bodyguards. He had a whole bunch of bodyguards trying to protect the manor. Which has got to be said, is a, a real dump actually. This place sucks. This place really stinks. This place really stinks big time. But, no, I, he doesn't even have really nice stuff in here. It looks like he's cleared the place out in a hurry. Except he forgot his special coin pro Oh! Got it, baby. We got it. Nice. Got another statue. Looks like somebody dropped their baked potato on the ground. Here we go. Oh, for fuck's sakes. Alright, I really have to change this back now to unrelenting force. Oh, God. Okay, none of this is considered stealing either, which is pretty good. This is like the pantry down here. A boiled cream treat. You know who's gonna like that, right? Our big fat son, back at home. All he does is sit around and eat sweet treats. Uh, Nords Arise. Sure. Sounds like a fucking nice one. Sounds like a great one. Wait, was there another? There's a rune book. To the owner. To the owner of Riftwild Manor. I'm not accustomed to working under these conditions of secrecy, but your generous compensation for the inconvenience was more than adequate to complete the project. Both the balcony ramp and the floor mechanism were interesting projects, and I hope you will find them functioning to your surprisingly what specific specifications. What group in Skyrim would make you cry the most if you were forced to cut them up? The companions. <laughs> Thanks, Rowdy Dog. If you should have any further need for my talents, please call on me again. Kilthinius Dandoril. I don't know who that is. But I don't care much for the name. A suspicious cabinet. Oh, here we go. There's a false back panel. Some fine shoes. Ah, uh, here we go. He's probably just holed up down here. I bet she's down here, guys. Mercer? 
He's got a sewer down here that he can escape from as well, the son of a bitch. It looks drafty in here as well. Where does this lead to? Oh, yuck. Looks like there's a pressure plate here. Oh, fudge. It's just a room filled with traps. All right, Pinchy, out of the way. What does this do? All right, guys. One, two, three. Okay. All right, Eric. <laughs> All right, Eric. Come on now. You can do it. Oh, another... Fucking real back there? Oh. Okay. Whoa! Oh. <laughs> Eric! What are you doing? Run! Pinchy got through no problem. <laughs> oh, for fuck's sake. I think Eric might die down there. I think Eric might be dead. Holy crap. There's a lot of traps. A lot of trips and traps down here. The Lusty Argonian made Volume 1! Oh, we got both now. Whoa. Bust of the Grey Fox. Nice. The Red Kitchen Reader. Many thanks. M. Not certain how you managed to get your hands on that item we discussed, but I'm sure... But I'm more than pleased. I thought you'd simply wait until it was being transported from Castle Dower to its final destination, but according to what I've heard, it vanished right from their armory. I wish Dear I knew Sips, how... I'm having tons of fun listening to the stream at work. Nice. I'm laughing randomly and yelling at Eric and everyone is looking at me like I'm crazy. So thanks. I'll be paying this off for the next tower and a half. Worth it. I remain. Manticore P. <laughs> Thanks, Manticore P. Also, don't get fired from your job, okay? But according to what I've learned, or I've heard, it vanished right from their armory. I wish I knew how you were able to slip by the guards, bypass the portcullis, unlock the armory door, and break into that dwarven puzzle lock chest. You need to teach me that little trick sometime. I've left your cut in the usual drop spot and might have another job for you soon. What's the usual drop spot? Is it that barrel? I bet you it's that barrel, right? Look at all these. He's got an amulet of Debella and a copper and sapphire circlet. It looks like all of his riches are stored down here. Mercer's plans. Discover evidence of Mercer's location. Speak to Brynjolf. All right. A minor maze. A gentleman's guide to Whiterun. Welcome, good sir, to this indispensable guide. Within these pages, I, your humble author and guide, will describe to you the great city of Whiterun, the jewel of the north. Whiterun offers numerous diversions for the man in search of adventure, fortune, and companionship, whether for a night or for a lifetime. Well, the city is graced with not one, but two worthy taverns, and there are maids and wenches aplenty. The city is located rather centrally in Skyrim, and this is well, for it is not far from anywhere. Perched high upon a rocky hill, Whiterun dominates the grassy plains that surround it. High stone walls protect its denizens from the wolves, mammoths, bandits, and other dangers. Lurking beyond. When you first enter through the city's main gate, you will find yourself in the Plains District. This is so named because it is the lowest of the city's three neighborhoods. Ah, but here can be found the Bannered Mare, which I count among the finest taverns in all of Skyrim. The scenery within is quite compelling. If you have an eye for the fair sex. <laughs> oh, a stout lass named Holda tends the bar. Don't let that stony Nord exterior fool you, for she is possessed that same fiery passion that all Nord women try so hard to conceal. Sadia, the barmaid, is an exotic Redguard beauty. She is quite mysterious, and your humble author is determined to learn her secrets. <laughs> wow. Outside the bannered mare is a modest marketplace, and here is where I found true love, though I would never deter a fellow hunting hunting hound from the chase for indeed why should i author these tomes 
If not to provide guidance in this very matter, I must ask that you do me this one kindness. Her name is Carlotta Valencia, and she is magnificent beauty who makes a modest living selling bread and produce in the daylight hours. <sighs> By the gods, I will make that feisty beauty mine someday. Wow, did I, I, I think I wrote this actually. And of course, there are other services to be found in the Plains District. Bellathor's general goods offer various sundry wares for the adventurous traveler, and Arcadia's cauldron offers the what tonics and herbs one <laughs> Fuck me, this is the longest fucking book ever! God damn it! Okay, we're taking this one. We'll read this one before we go to bed tonight. God damn. Oh my shit. Man, that is a very passionate author. With a keen eye for babes. 